Oh, there's a short ball. It's in the air. It's out. He's struck. This is the second wicket. That's it. Ridley is struck. Straight away. Boy, he's some bowler. He's having a wonderful time as well at the moment. He's bowling superbly. Not just fast. He's bowling straight. And he's testing batsmen. And it hasn't taken him long to get into the action in this World Cup. Oh, that's out. That's caught behind. Yes, he's got him. Caught behind. That's the end of Solov Ganguly. Oh, he's got him. Well, shortened him up with a good bouncer, the previous delivery. And I think that's caught Saywag on the crease. And then he's got the outside edge. Wonderful bowling for Brett Lee and a big wicket for the Australians. Lead to him round the wicket. Full toss and oh, what a catch! What an unbelievable catch! Brett Lee has taken a miracle catch. Andy Bicknell has hit that full toss back at him like a rocket. His reactions are incredible. Caught and bowled, Brett Lee. That brings an end to a fantastic innings. A lot put into that action by Brett Lee. In his follow through, he's barely taken two strides. The ball's come rocketing back at him. And what reactions, what reactions to get that ball, he's come straight at him, had he missed it, over hit him between the eyes, but he's got it, magnificent catch, looked surprised to catch. Yes, that was the last delivery from Brett Lee's over, I think it's beaten the inside edge and quite freakish, it's hit the underhand or the bottom hand of the bat, probably way the back of the wrist. And that ball was around the 150k per hour mark. And that's why the Sri Lankan captain's down there at the moment, just checking on his arm. I think it's somewhere closer to the wrist. Caught. That was very well done by Brett Lee. That was the dismissal of Marvin Atapatu. Well, isn't he happy? Edge done gone. The bad run continues for Mahela Jawadina. Well, that's got to be close. Yes, that's LBW. Brett Lee has got him jumping around all over the place and when it's straight he finds them on the crease and when you're on the crease and the ball is straight you've got a good chance of being out LBW. Okay, now that has gone past the target that Australia had to make nine days ago against England and that is another psychological burst. Lee has smashed that. He's absolutely lathered it. He's finished up with 15. Yes, Steve Butler waited, but Stephen Fleming and Chris Harris were well aware of what was happening there, that there'd been a touch, that the ball had gone through to the keeper. That's good enough, yeah. Second one in the over. Really quick. There was no shake of the head, and that's not a good sign when you're looking back at Mr. Buckner. Not if you're the batsman. Bold him. Quick and straight. Really good delivery, that one from Brett Lee. A change of angle. He's bowled over, he's bowled round, he's picked up three quick wickets, and Oram's the last of them. well bowled by Brett Lee I think we all knew what he was thinking Andre Adams probably knew what he was thinking he just couldn't do anything about it it's a sensational stuff by Brett Lee the in-swinging Yorker well 
What a catch. What a brilliant way to end the innings. Brett Lee has picked up his fifth. What reactions. He's a, certainly a great athlete. And this has been a great performance by Australia. There should be no doubt about it, folks. They are on track to win this World Cup. We have to make sure that we play well next game and uh, just sort of keep building from there. But, uh, you know, the guys have been playing some really good cricket and that's been set up by our batsmen. And, uh, you know, the guys at the, sort of lot at the lower order did a great job today. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a lovely bit of a laid out swing. Oh, it's bowled him. Oh, he's also hurt him as well. It's got him on the elbow. It's nasty delivery. It was short. It's bounced up, and I think it's hit a boy on the elbow. It's gone back onto his stumps, and he's in quite a bit of pain there. It's a very, very nasty blow. It's not the sort of start Kenya had in mind, nor Kennedy a boy. Unfortunately, has to go. He's out for one, and Kenya are three for one. Oh, it's well taken from Potting. Rajal Patel has only just made it out to the middle, replacing Kennedy Aboya, and he's got a beauty first up. An excellent delivery from Brett Lee. Oh, it's great through him. That's a hat trick. And what a beautiful delivery to bring up the hat trick on. Fast, straight, 155.5 Ks. Not much David Aboya could do about that. Well, that's a World Cup hat-trick for Brett Lee. One down. This one's full. It's up there and Hogg isn't. doubt about that I had a very quick look at uh, Rudy Kutzen to make certain he hadn't put his arm out for no ball look at this full straight and 160 K's 160.1 out of Paru departs Brett Lee delighted so too George Bradhog right here he comes again Brett Lee third delivery <laughs> In the air, and that's it, caught behind, beautifully bowled by Brett Lee, lightning fast, over 150 kilometres an hour, huge neck and beautifully taken by Gilchrist. Oh, and that's out, that's beautifully caught, oh, well taken. Don't offer these Australians too many opportunities because they'll latch onto them. That went whistling away, once again, Brett Lee causing havoc. Again, just not much movement of the feet and sparring at that and what a good catch it flew to Ponting but he clung on to it the Austries don't miss many so 44 for 4 Aravinda is on strike Red Lee about to complete his 6th over oh he's had a go at that one too oh and just over the top but boy, that would have been the catch of the series. Hayden went for it, got a hand on it, and it popped out. It's 45 for four. No ball called. Damian Martin has taken the catch, but a no ball has been called. He's overstepped again in this over. No emotion from Brett Lee apart from annoyance. Damian Martin thought he was gone, as did half the Australian side. Just the luck maybe Sewag needs, it's a no ball. Straight up in the air, this should be out, and it will be out. Darren Lehman has got it, there's the second wicket. Brett Lee's got his first, and that's 21 wickets for Brett Lee. And India now are in real trouble, 58 for two. A bit like Sachin Tendulkar, trying to hook a ball that wasn't quite there. It's good captaincy from Ricky Ponting. Move two men in the deep on the offside. That's another one. 
is on the cards. Srinath wasn't bothered coming in line. 22 wickets for Brett Lee. Well, that would have been a very good Yorker against anyone. 